I literally have three cats on my shirt. What's funny is they're all black and I'm wearing a black shirt, whatever. All right, this video is probably gonna be more like the videos I used to make like a while back. It's not gonna be anything fancy or anything like that, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so I might be mixing up my battery rack just a little bit. I had some thoughts a couple of weeks ago when Tom Ammerman posted those rack mount batteries, and I was kind of thinking, you know, I could build something real similar to those. Of course, I don't know how they look on the inside or anything like that, but I think I could build something like that. All right, so here's my thought. I'm gonna take apart a UPS and see how many batteries can fit inside, what kind of configuration I can come up with and go from there. This is all just thoughts in my head. I still have some UPSs over there, so I'm gonna grab one, we're gonna take it apart. The reason I was thinking about building one or many out of these UPSs is because every time I see a lithium fire you know it, it kind of just makes me think if my battery pack over there went up in flames I mean I just I just really do not want to find out what will happen yes it's in a metal rack however I mean it's open it's you know it's like a graded front and back it's not like the fire is gonna stay in that thing or anything like that and I haven't done any fireproofing underneath my stairs again I probably shouldn't have it down in my basement I should have it you know outside in a shed or someplace a little safer but I really don't want to do that because it's a DIY power wall you know there's random maintenance that you want to do on it, check things, etc. I really don't want to go outside in the dead of winter time when there's two feet of snow and, and do maintenance. I would rather do it inside. I guess if worse comes to worse, I have, I call it my bunker. It's not really a bunker, but it's more of like a, a hidden room and you kind of have to duck when you're in there. It's, it's kind of a hidden room and it's all concrete in there. So if worse comes to worse, I could just move my rack in there and it's still inside. Anyway, every time I see a lithium fire, it just kind of freaks me out a little more each time, which is probably a good thing. So my thought or theory is, is if I could empty out a UPS, stuff it with batteries, you know, and close it all back up, it's inside of a metal box inside of a metal rack. It's not going to completely contain a fire or anything like that. However, it would give me maybe a little bit more time to run. I know I say that jokingly, but I mean, that's really it. I'm just trying to make it a little safer or a little more fireproof. Let's open up a UPS, rip everything out and see how many batteries we can shove inside and what kind of configuration we can come up with. Move these out of the way real quick, or at least to the edge of the table. That way I can push them off easier. And the old whore pile. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Okay, I should measure it before I even do that because I don't even know if a battery will fit in here. I probably should have did that first. Oh yeah, battery will totally fit in there. All right, so what we have here is a SUA 3000 RM 2U. And I did use one of these in the power wall at the very, very beginning. I don't know if it was this one or the other one, but that doesn't matter. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take out all the screws, pull off the top, and rip everything on the inside out. All right, so if anybody is curious, I'm gonna do the measurements on the inside. I'm gonna do it from this lip here, which is more of like a, a comb over, so the top has something to screw to. So we're at 24 and a quarter from comb over to comb over by 16, and you know, a little wiggle room on the side. 
You know what I should do, actually, real quick? I'm gonna set the lid back on here and see how many cell holders can actually fit. And I got all these from Keith. If you need any, I'll leave a link down below. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Five. I could do a five by six. So how many cells is that? These are four by five, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I could do 600 cells inside of one of these, which is quite a bit, actually. Well, I guess the next thing to do would be to figure out, you know, what kind of configuration I can put inside of one of these. With 600 cells, you know, do I want to do like a 1S? 2s or multiple s actually no i can't do that because i've only got so many slots left in the rack over there actually let's go see how many slots i actually have left all right so my little rack over here is a 24u server rack a lot of this is going to depend on which ups case i can get either the 3u or the 2u like i already took apart so if i get the three u's I can only fit seven more UPSs in here, which is fine. It just takes up more room. Of course, I would prefer the 2U. So if I get the 2U, I can actually fit 11 more cases in here. So pros would be if I do 14S per case, then I can fit 11 more in here. If I only do, if I do a 2S, then obviously I can only fit seven more in here for a 300P total. With the other one, with uh, 11 more, I'll have to do some math real quick, but yeah, this is pretty much what I'm working with. Also, another thing with this is these drawers, they're like $200, and I really don't want to buy, you know, three more drawers just so I can put some more battery packs on it. I mean, I will if I have to, but I really don't want to do that. These drawers are called Rack Solutions. They're freaking amazing. They're just really expensive. All right, I did some kind of messing around here. Basically, if I, there's two different options. I can do a 2S or a 14S. If I do a 14S, I can do pretty much a 42P, and that's kind of maxing it out. Let me do some quick Peter Maths here. So if I do the 2U UPS cases, then I can fit 11 more. Now, if I do a 14S, 42p because that's pretty much what I can fit in there at an average of 2500 milliamp hours per cell that'll give me around 105 amp hours all right so if I times that by 48 for 14s it's just over 5 kilowatt hours now if I can fit 11 in there that'll give me 55 kilowatt hours to play with you know plus or minus actual usable okay so that is a plus there's room for expansion because because right now, you know, saving up 1400 plus cells just to build a 14S, I mean, it takes a while. This way, you know, it's kind of expandable as you get cells. Now, if I do the other option of 2S 300P, so I definitely need seven cases for 14S, average of 2500 milliamp hours per cell, the amp hours would be around 750 times 48, and that'll give me only 36 kilowatt hours. That would be maxed out in the rack. So 14S in each case, you know, there's there's room for expansion and I can make it a lot bigger. However, the downside to all of this right now for 14S per UPS case is the BMS. I'm gonna need 14 long mons per UPS case. And that's a lot of long mons. I mean, don't get me wrong, it'd be cool, to, you know, to see on the graph and whatnot, but I mean, looking cool and being practical and price and all that kind of stuff is not, it's not what I'm going for. <laughs> Cat tail. Ugh. Whoa, look at that. Boom. That's crazy. Nuts. Damn, that's just, that's just crazy. How did they even do that? Did they got dropped right there? I don't know. That 
the screw. I think I'm going to leave that one for right now. Maybe I could use it for a chassis ground or something. Oh shit, that'll fit right in there. What do we think of this idea right here? All right, so it does give me room on the sides here, you know, for connections and whatnot. And then I can run some battery cables, you know, to the outside edge, like a positive and a negative thing. And then I can string it down to the next UPS. So with this, you know, I could do a 2S, one here, one here. And you know what else I could use? Tom has those new nickel strips with the fuses on it. If I use that, that'll give me even more room above and below, you know, some wiggle room in all directions. And that might be, that might be awesome. Actually, you know what? That is a fantastic idea because holy crap, you know how fast that would go? If I spot welded everything, I could just put a whole sheet right across the top here and then two separate sheets on the bottom you know for a positive and a negative or vice versa hmm i'll have to talk to tom about the amperage i know it is eight amps for the fuse it's an instant blow three amps continuous however i'm not sure about the layout now with tom's new nickel strip according to what he's saying on the website is let's say you covered this in his nickel strip you know and your and your pack continues on and it can do 10 amps per cell going this direction so you know if you do an 80p or 100p your positive or negative has to be along that long edge there in order to get the maximum amount of amperage if it's going the long direction like our normal packs are you know how we typically run our bus bars around you know and we got a positive on one end negative on the other end of the battery you know that's typically how we do it I don't know what the amperage is going that way I'll have to talk to him about that and see what he says but anyway I don't know what do you guys think I'm actually really liking this idea now that I've kind of got it sitting here because if a battery or an entire pack God forbid does go postal it's gonna burn directly up into the lid of this and the lid is actually thicker than this other metal that this is made out of you know it'll it'll kind of be contained I'm not saying it's gonna be completely fireproof or anything like that but the fire will be more contained than having a complete and open and pack you know like I'm doing right now so I don't know so tell me what you guys think in the comment section and um, you know pros and cons either doing a 2s or a 14s remember I have to use a BMS in here as well also with the watchman 5 it does have temperature sensors so I can still put temperature sensors inside the box now again that could be another thing is heat heat could technically be a problem with 600 cells compacted in here you know with not much airflow or really any. All right, so that is kind of some stuff that's been floating around in my head, basically to make it a little bit safer, uh, a little more fireproof and whatnot. So what do you guys think, Tail? Anyway, pros and cons, I wanna hear it all in the comment section. You know, good idea, bad idea, let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, settings correct? Yes. For some reason, they keep switching the thingy on top accidentally, and I won't have sound, or the color will be really different. Um, and, and, yeah, my horde pile is getting a little out of control. The UPSs are on the other side. Um, if I get two U's, I can fit, there's some beeping. All right, so I can't really do a 1P because I don't have enough slots. So uh, the, really the only option I could do is a 2P or a, I don't know why I keep saying P. Um, and I'll, um, and if, if um, um, and uh, so uh, yeah.